What is going on everybody? How you guys doing? My name is JX Kicks and I want to welcome you guys back to another video on the channel. So today's video is a little bit something different. As you guys can see, we have a pair of recent sneakers that came out. Actually, it's not that recent and it is recent at the same time. But if you could tell with this box is, you know what I'm going to unbox for you guys. Um, the reason why I got these is because it was a trade. Um, they offered some sneakers to me, which was these and um, another pair of sneakers that I'm not going to be reviewing because it doesn't have a box or anything. But I decided to review these because this is one of the shoes that's, in my opinion, sneaker of the year. Um, and yeah, we made a Yeezy trade for these and I didn't really mind it at all. So as y'all can tell, these are the Jordan 3 Rear Imagines. I'm just going to keep it a buck with y'all. Y'all can tell the box. Size 8 and a half, Jordan 3. Y'all notice that I've been uh, reviewing a lot of size 7s a lot. But in Jordan 3s, I'm at 8. This is an 8 and a half, so I kind of got to like double socket, but it's all right. Um, Oops, sorry for the camera. It's the bo uh, bottom of the box. Right. Yeah, let's get into the shoes. I'm shaking the camera a lot. But. Alright. So I can see it got the uh, card. Nike tag, probably my favorite one out of the whole bunch. Here's our shoe. I also did get a couple of jerseys with this trade, so. But we go. Fix this up a little bit. The Air Jordan 3, uh, White Cement Reimagines. Um, as you can tell, these are used very little, but probably worn once. The stars are still there. No major heel drag on them at all. Like I said, probably worn once. I, would, I wouldn't say more than once. The reason why it could be this dirty is because of multiple hours of use. But besides that, probably worn once at all. But yeah, this is the, like I said, Air Jordan 1. I mean, Air Jordan 3. Why some memory imagines. The reason why I picked these up from the trade is because I wasn't able to get these on release day. And I did want this pair. By this time, I was working at a sneaker store, but um, just couldn't get my hands on them. But to start off with the shoe, start with the bottom. See, I can see it is dirty, but y'all got a standard drawing three out. So uh, gray, this is actually a cream color, red Nike logo, then the red mid tab. Gray front tab with stars. Midsole, cream, looking like an aged Jordan 3 with the black top part of the midsole. And then white. When we look at the uppers, you got mainly a white leather throughout the uppers. You can see good quality for this Air Jordan. And then you got the elephant print. I remember when these first came out, there was a lot of errors with the elephant print. My pair, I'm not too sure actually, there might be. Yeah, there's definitely like an error with these. I don't know if you can tell, this side's more thicker than this one. There's a watermark there, or a glue mark. Yeah, there's definitely a couple errors. I don't know if you can tell, this side's more thick than this side. Excuse the noise in the background, by the way. And I know when it comes to elephant print, there's a, oh, there's a lot of inconsistencies. Um, even with my air drawing uh, 312s, Legacy 312s, the Don C's or whatever you want to call them, I bought the full elephant print, and there is inconsistencies with that shoe as well. Um, and a lot of people said it's due to, like, the cheap quality. No, it's just the leather cut, uh, the leather of it. Um, it's just the nature of how elephant print is. Even with older models, people say, no, there's no inconsistencies. Yes, there is. 
let's be honest, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look. You've probably seen a whole bunch of reviews about these already, so I don't want to get too much into it. Um, everything still, still seems to be inside of it, like the Nike Air uh, stamp. Even the size tag is still in there. I don't know if you can see that, but... I like the back tab. I don't know. I don't know why I keep going back to the back tab, but this back tab is nice. I don't know. It's just a cream with the black. Just make it, it. It looks nice to me. Nice leather on there. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below on these Air Jordan Three. Uh, white cement reimagines. I think this is was this was probably one of the better pickups I did in the in the year so far. Um, I do have the full collection of the Air Jordan One Lost and Found, the Air Jordan Two Chicago. Technically not reimagined, technically is. And now we got the Air Jordan Three reimagines. I'm gonna try my best to get the four breads, just because it's um gonna be part of like that reimagined type of theme. So I'm gonna try to get all of them. I'm definitely gonna be looking forward to some Jordan Eight playoffs because. It's just a nice shoe, but uh, yeah, this is JX Kicks. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, um, and I hope you guys just like, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about these, you know what I'm saying? I think this was a, definitely a good cop uh, for a trade, but yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.